How's uh, Jamar? Uh, you know, we we tried to tried to let him go in that in that game, and I, I just don't think he felt like he was at 100 percent and didn't feel like he could make cuts the way that he wanted to make cuts, and and so uh, I think you know really it was his decision during the game to say um, you know not really quite ready yet, and and uh, yeah, I think it's it's improving daily. Um, I just I think it'll be take it one day at a time, and we'll see we'll see on game day. Having a guy like AP there probably takes some of that pressure off of him feeling like he has to go too. I'm, I'm gonna guess. Yeah, totally. I think it's uh, our depth at running back's been you know definite strength on, on offense, and and uh, I was pleased to say AP come in there and, and do some good things on on Saturday, and and uh, we feel pretty confident with BJ as well. So the depth at running back's uh, definite strength of the offense. It's good to see those guys uh, perform the way they did on Saturday. Despite that slow first half, Coach Smith said yes or said yesterday that the offense in the second half was probably as good as he'd seen it since he's been here. Would you agree with that? And now how do you dial that in for four quarters? Yeah, that's the that's the question. Um, no, I I, uh, I did. I felt like in the second half we were really clicking, and, and uh, you know we were uh, we were able to get the run game going a little bit. That opened up some things in the play play action pass, and and uh, the guys I felt like Jake was in rhythm. He was you know uh, making good decisions. We were um, creating some explosive plays. It was it was fun to call in the second half. And just frustrating in the first half. You know I thought we moved the ball. Um, you know we just penalties um, had. A, a couple busted protections uh, there that got some took some negative plays and, and a couple drives and um, you know we weren't able to come away with any points but uh, yeah that's the key I think is just we're talking about executing at a high level for four quarters and in a couple of the games unfortunately this year was just we just haven't been able to do that. Was there anything they were doing defensively? Did they surprise you with anything that you had to adjust to? Or? Uh, no, I don't think they did. they didn't surprise us with with anything that uh, any calls they had or anything like that. I, I think it was it was uh, and, and they're not to take anything away from their defense. I think uh, they got a lot of talented players and and uh, you know are traditionally really good on on defense. So I don't want to take anything away from them, but I, I think we focused on focused on us and and our execution, and it just wasn't up to the level that that we would like it to be in the first half. What did you say to your team in film to fix that silent first half for this week? Uh, we, well, like yeah. I just we, we've been pre we've been preaching the you know we got to execute at a high level for four quarters, and that's that's really what uh, what it comes down to. And and uh, we felt like there's just whether it be one or two guys making a, a key mistake here or there that just prevented us um, you know from keeping those drives moving in the first half and putting points on the board. And and uh, we've just got to. You know, focus on every drill is important. Everything, every detail that we do is important, and and uh, you know, just put an emphasis on that for this entire week and every drill that we're taking. Tell us about UCLA. What do you see out of them? Obviously, more known for the offense under Chip, but you know, they've had some solid defensive performances as well. Uh, I think they're really sound on on defense. Uh, the things that they do, they give you um, some multiple looks up front, uh, which presents some challenges, um, and and they do a nice job. I feel like taking. Taking away your run game. I mean, they're 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 loaded up in there and, and uh, give you a lot of single high safety. Um, so I do again. I think they're they're pretty physical up front. I, I really look at their linebackers, uh, particularly Chris Barnes, 14, um, really good player. Makes a lot of uh, you know he's 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 around the ball a lot. Makes a lot of plays in, in the run game and the pass game. So uh, it's going to be a big challenge, I think, up front for our, our offensive line again. Uh, and then and then with all the single high safety, I think um, you know there'll be some opportunities. For our, our wide receivers um, and guys on the perimeter to go make some plays, and they're going to have to win some one-on-one -on -one matchups. California passing that law for players to profit off their likeness. I guess just what is your opinion on that? Is that something you would welcome here? <laughs> uh, I just I kind of want to stay away from that one for, for now, and I'll, I'll let Coach Smith give our our answer. Tajon Lindsay, what does he bring to your to your outside of the receiver? Um, you know, I, I think uh, Tajan is really uh, exciting with the ball in his hands. Um, and, and his opportunity, when we get him the ball in his hands, I feel like he has the opportunity to turn a, a short gain or a, you know, an end around or something like that into a big gain. And, and uh, I just think him not having an entire spring, he was kind of injured through the spring, he's still getting comfortable with the details of our offense. Um, and so I, I look for him to improve, you know, weekly. Just the more practice opportunities he gets, the more times he gets to, to go out there and, and execute our offense on game day. Um, I just I look for him to get more involved in the offense and to make some more plays for us. Because he's a talented, he's a talented player. Thanks, coach. Good. Yeah, sorry, sorry about that.